Our next speaker is part of this mood in a change Scotland. A period of awakening, the raising of the Trident issue, the Burns Not Bombs, the decision amongst many of us to not settle, to not settle for the Scotland of inequalities and neoliberalism and war. So I want you to give her a big warm welcome. It's Cat Boyd speaking for the Radical Independence Campaign. <laughs> Um, I'd like to start by saying thank you to Scrap Trident for organising this today and for inviting me to speak. I feel really proud and privileged to be speaking on behalf of the Radical Independence Campaign today, especially here in George Square in Glasgow. Because we've got a strong and proud tradition in this square for standing up for what's right long before it became the People's Square during the referendum. This is where we stood together to give the keys of our city to Nelson Mandela. Yeah. And this is where we stood together to oppose Bush and Blair and the illegal war in Iraq. And here we are again today standing up for what's right. And today we are drawing a line in the sand. We are drawing a line in the streets and saying loud and clear, we will no longer tolerate Trident. <laughs> and for years now, ordinary people have been told the lie that there is no alternative to austerity. Well, I say there's a pretty obvious alternative and it lies 40 miles west from here and it is the British state's nuclear weapons system. And if you were to travel out to Faz Lane from George Square today, you'd go through Clyde Bank where the job centre has the highest level of benefit sanctions in the UK. You would pass through empty industrial spaces that were once the beating heart of a proud community and you would pass by queues for food banks. Trident is a symbol of Britain's failure. It's economic failure where successive governments have cared more about providing a space for their nuclear weapons than providing shelter for their citizens. And we're told that Trident is about security. Well, I'll never let any politician tell me Trident keeps us safe. Because what we need protected from is a Westminster government intent on destroying the welfare state and privatising the NHS. What will keep ordinary people safe is a decent social settlement that does not discriminate or stigmatise. But of course, this isn't just about the economic argument. This is about the UK's role on the international stage. And the truth is, Britain has been a bad global citizen. From empire to illegal war, to the UK-US alliance, to the backing of dictatorships in Chile and Saudi Arabia, to its support for apartheid states. Trident is a symbol of all of these things, of a state committed to military spending, over public spending, of war over welfare, of bombs over bairns. But now, with the upcoming election, we have a renewed opportunity to challenge the cross-party consensus at Westminster that says Trident is necessary. Those of us in the Radical Independence Campaign, we have pledged, like Ollie here today, to fight until Trident is decommissioned, until it is a relic like the political system it represents. <laughs> The referendum is over for now. We know that something is different this time because yes, we've protested before and yes, we've blockaded before. But over the last two years, Scotland has changed forever. And those of us here today who stand for peace and justice and not for war, we are closer than we ever have been to winning. <laughs> So I'll finish on this, and it's a message from all of us here today that no matter who becomes Prime Minister this year, we will no longer let you or your pals in NATO use Scotland as a dumping ground for nuclear weapons. And 
more than that, if you dare to move Trident to any other part of these aisles, we'll go protest it there and you'll lose there too. We don't want Trident in Scotland's waters and we don't want it in anybody else's either. If Thursday night's TV debate is anything to go by, the days of the militaristic macho culture of UK politics is over. <laughs> Trident's end is on the horizon and I hope that you'll join us on Monday the 13th at the blockade at the base because we've seen what happens when we stand up and stand together we can have the establishment on the back foot and so today like so many times before we are standing together by that one demand closer to victory than we've ever been. Scrap Trident! Yes.